hi guys welcome to my steady compass in this video i'll be walking you through the past paper math b1 variant 2 february march 2021 let's get started complete this statement the diagram has rotational symmetry of order blank the order of rotational symmetry is simply the number of times an object looks exactly like the original when it's rotated through 360 degrees. The shape in the diagram looks exactly like the original when rotated 180 degrees and 360 degrees. So the order of rotational symmetry is 2. On the diagram, draw all the lines of symmetry. A line of symmetry is simply any line that cuts an object such that one half of the object is a mirror image of the other half. In this case, we have two lines of symmetry. On the grid, draw a kite. To draw the kite, we need to ensure that these two lines are equal and these two lines are also equal. We also need to ensure that the diagonals are perpendicular. Write down two geometrical properties of a rhombus. Two of the properties of a rhombus are opposite sides are parallel and all four sides are equal. Calculate the value of square root of 7.29. When we type this into the calculator, we get 2.7. Write down a multiple of 9 between 100 and 110. The multiple of 9 between 100 and 110 is 108. Sanvi rounds the number 4,896. She writes down 4,900. Rahul says Tanvi rounded 4,896 correct to the nearest hundred. Explain why Rahul cannot be certain that Tanvi rounded 4,896 correct to the nearest hundred. This is because it's possible she rounded to the nearest 10. The number in the 10th position is 9. The number after 9, which is 6, is greater than 5. So we add 1 to 9, which gives us 10. Since we have 10, we replace 9 with 0 and add 1 to 8, giving us 9. The number after 9, which is 6, also becomes 0. So we get 4,900, rounded to the nearest 10. Calculate 6.4 times 4 squared over 17.9 minus 6.1. Give your answer correct to 3 decimal places. When we type this into the calculator, we get 8.678 rounded to 3 decimal places. These are the heights of 4 sisters. Work out the range of these heights. Give your answer in centimeters. To get the range, we simply subtract the lowest height from the highest height. The highest height is 1.65 meters and the lowest height is 1.53 meters. To convert this difference to centimeters, we multiply by 10 squared. This gives us 12 centimeters. The four sisters have a brother. The range of the five heights is 18 centimeters. Work out the two possible heights of the brother. Since the range is now 18 centimeters, which is the same as 0 0.18 meters, then it means the height of the brother, which we are calling y, could be the highest of the heights or the lowest of the heights. In the case that it is the highest of the heights, we have y minus 1.53 equals 0 0.18. This gives us 1.71 meters. In the case that it is the lowest of the heights, we have 1.65 minus y equals 0 0.18. This gives us 1.47 meters. Work out 2 times negative 37. 
To get the resulting vector, we multiply each of the elements in the given vector by 2. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 and 2 times 7 is 14. Work out 8 negative 6 plus negative 5, 2. To get the resulting vector, we add corresponding elements in both vectors. So 8 plus negative 5 is 3 and negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. Sahil and Anika share $78 in the ratio 5 is to 8. Calculate the amount each receives. To get the amount Sahil receives, we divide the ratio share for Sahil, which is 5, by the total ratio, which is 5 plus 8. Then we multiply by $78. This gives us $30. To get the amount Anika receives, we divide the ratio share for Anika, which is 8, by the total ratio, which is 5 plus 8. Then we multiply by $78. This gives us $48. The diagram shows a prism. The cross-section of the prism is an equilateral triangle. Draw a net of the prism on the 1 cm square grid. Before we can draw the net of the prism, we need to find the height of the equilateral triangle. We can get this by applying the Pythagoras theorem. This gives us 4 squared equals h squared plus 2 squared. When we make h the subject, this is what we have. When we type this into the calculator, we get 3.46 centimeters rounded to three significant figures. To draw the net of the prism, we start by drawing the base, which is a rectangle with dimensions 4 cm by 3 cm. The base is connected to rectangles, each measuring 4 cm by 3 cm on its left and right sides. The base is also connected to two equilateral triangles, each with a base of 4 cm and a height of 3.46 cm on its top and bottom. The number of passengers on a bus is recorded each day for 14 days. Complete the stem and leaf diagram. The key is 1 stroke 5 represents 15 passengers. So if we pick 15, the first number is 1, which means we need to write the number on this line and write down the final number, which is 5. For 18, the first number is 1. So we need to write the number on this line and write down the final number, which is 8. We need to repeat the same process for all the numbers. When we are done, we need to ensure that the numbers on each line are arranged in ascending order. The mean of 9 numbers is 17. 7 of these numbers add to 132. The other 2 numbers have a difference of 5. Find the 2 numbers with a difference of 5. Let's call the 2 numbers A and B. If the mean of the 9 numbers is 17, then it means 132 plus A plus B divided by 9 is equal to 17. When we simplify this, we get A plus B equals 21, which we have labeled as equation 1. We are told that the difference of the numbers is 5, so we have A minus B equals 5, which we have labeled as equation 2. We can solve the two equations simultaneously to find the values of A and B. Let's use the elimination method. Since we have B in equation 1 and negative B in equation 2, we can easily eliminate B by adding equation 1 to equation 2. This gives us 2A equals 26. When we divide both sides by 2, we get A equals 13. So to get the value of B, we can plug in the value of A into any of the equations. If we pick equation 1, we have 13 plus B equals 21. When we subtract 13 from both sides, we have B equals 8. So the two numbers are 13 and 8. 
Factorize completely. 9t squared w minus 3t. The terms have a common factor of 3t. When we factor that out, we are left with 3t w minus 1. Sanvi makes some biscuits. She sells 5 over 13 of the biscuits. She now has 96 biscuits left. Work out the total number of biscuits Sanvi makes. Let's represent the number of biscuits Sanvi makes with x. This means x minus 5 over 13x equals 96. From here, all we need to do is simplify the equation to find the value of x. x minus 5 over 13x is 8 over 13x. When we make x the subject, this is what we have, which is equal to 156. These are the first four terms of a sequence. Write down the next two terms. When we look at the given sequence, we see that the terms have a common difference of negative 7. So to get the next term, we subtract 7 from 8, which gives us 1. To get the next term after 1, we subtract 7 from 1, which gives us negative 6. Find the nth term. We can use this formula to find the nth term of sequences with a common difference. A1, which is the first term of the sequence, is 29. D, which is the common difference, is negative 7. When we expand the brackets, negative 7 times n is negative 7n. Negative 7 times negative 1 is 7. 29 plus 7 is 36. So we have 36 minus 7n. Find the lowest common multiple of 18 and 21. First, we list the prime factors of 18 and 21. Then we map the prime factors of both numbers on a Venn diagram. The product of the elements in the Venn diagram gives us the LCM. So 2 times 3 times 3 times 7 gives us 126. Write 567 million in standard form. To write this number in standard form, we move the decimal point from the end of the number to a position after the first non-zero digit, which is 5. This gives us 5.67. Since we moved the decimal point 8 units to the left, we multiply 5.67 by 10 raised to the power 8. Calculate the product of the largest number and the smallest number from this list. Give your answer in standard form. The smallest number in the list is 6.35 times 10 raised to the power negative 2. And the largest number is 6.2 times 10 squared. When we multiply these two numbers, we get 39.37. To write this number in standard form, we move the decimal point to a position after the first non-zero digit, which is 3. This gives us 3.937. Since we moved the decimal point 1 unit to the left, we multiply 3.937 by 10 raised to the power 1. Triangle ABC is mathematically similar to triangle PQR. Find the value of x. For similar shapes, we know that the ratio of their corresponding sides must be equal. So we have x over 1.61 cm equals 3.2 cm over 2.8 cm. When we make x the subject, this is what we have. When we type this into the calculator, we get 1.84 centimeters. Simplify. x raised to the power 12 divided by x cubed. Since the terms have the same base and they are dividing, their powers subtract. So we have x raised to the power 12 minus 3. 12 minus 3 is 9. So we have x raised to the power 9. Simplify. 
y squared all raised to the power 5. In this case, the powers of y multiply, so we have y raised to the power 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10, so we have y raised to the power 10. 3 raised to the power p equals 1 over 81. Find the value of p. We can rewrite 81 as 3 raised to the power 4. 1 over 3 raised to the power 4 can be written as 3 raised to the power negative 4. Since the bases on both sides are equal, then their powers should also be equal. So p is equal to negative 4. Without using a calculator, work out 2 1 over 4 times 3 2 over 3. You must show all your work in and give your answer as a mixed number in its simplest form. First, we need to convert the mixed fractions into improper fractions. So for 2 1 over 4, we have 4 times 2 plus 1, which is 9, divided by 4. Then for 3 2 over 3, we have 3 times 3 plus 2, which is 11, divided by 3. 3 goes into itself once and goes into 9 3 times. So for the numerator, 3 times 11 is 33 and for the denominator, 4 times 1 is 4. 33 over 4 is an improper fraction, so we need to convert it into a mixed fraction. 4 goes into 33 8 times with a remainder of 1, which we divide by 4. Solve the simultaneous equations. You must show all your work in. First, let's label the given equations. We'll be using the elimination method. Let's start by eliminating the variable x. So first, we multiply equation 1 by 2. This gives us 10x plus 12y equals 28, which we have labeled as equation 3. Now let's multiply equation 2 by 5. This gives us 10x plus 40y equals 35, which we have labeled as equation 4. Now that we have 10x in equation 3 and equation 4, we can eliminate x by subtracting equation 3 from equation 4. This gives us 28y equals 7. When we divide both sides by 28, we get y equals 0 0.25. Now that we have the value of y, we can plug in this value into any of the equations to get the value of x. If we pick equation 2, we have 2x plus 8 times 0 0.25 equals 7. 8 times 0 0.25 is 2. When we subtract 2 from both sides, we have 2x equals 5. And when we divide both sides by 2, we have x equals 2.5. The diagram shows a shape made from a quarter circle, OAB, and a right angle triangle, OBC. The radius of the circle is 5 cm and OC equals 6 cm. Calculate the area of the shape. The area of the shape is equal to the area of the right angle triangle, which we've labeled as A1, plus the area of the quadrant, which we've labeled as A2. The area of the triangle is half base times height, where the base is 5 cm and the height is 6 cm. The area of the quadrant is pi r squared over 4, where the radius r is 5 cm. When we type this into the calculator, we get 34.6 cm squared, rounded to three significant figures. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. See you in the next video. Bye, guys.